What's up Saiyan Army? So before this video begins, I just want to give you guys a little backstory of, of what you're about to see. So Taran and I just finished recording an arm workout. We were running late, heading to the airport. We tried to get in the arm workout right before our flight. And as we're walking down the stairs leaving the gym, Taran goes, hey look, there's Kai. So we immediately ran down, said what's up to Kai. And as I say in the video, I first met Kai at the New York City Comic Con. When I found out he was going to be there, I decided to wait in line to go and meet this guy because I've always heard good things. Always, like, I've watched his stuff and I liked him as a person, but I just wanted to meet him. So, the one thing I like about Kai, and for those of you guys who have met him at an Exploit 4, you'll know, like, he's one of the realest guys and just genuine down-to-earth guys you'll ever meet. And you'll see, as you can see in this video, that's how he is. And especially being someone with millions and millions of fans, um, just to be that down to earth is really inspiring for me personally. Especially because for me, I'm just like an up and coming person in the fitness industry. I don't consider myself big by any means, but I think Kai is a great role model. Um, one of the reasons his lines are super long is not only because he has millions of fans, but because he'll actually spend the time with you and really talk to you. I, at the art, um, at Comic Con when I first met him, we talked for like over five minutes. And you gotta figure, there's like a hundred people waiting behind me, and Kai actually took the time to talk to me. And even my girlfriend, who didn't even know who Kai Green was, was just blown away by this guy and just how his he he is and his demeanor. So. Anyways, um, we don't talk about, we talk about pretty much just anime and life. Um, so enjoy the video, guys. Yeah, look who we just bumped into. It's the Kai Green. What's going on? What's going on? How you doing, Kai? I'm good. How's man. everything going? Give them an update real quick on how you been. You've been killing it, right? We're working. We're working. working. Just uh, going to work on some of these uh, um, extra meals we had last night. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> me too. I feel a little guilty about it, but, I'm, but I'm, I'm, I urge no, you. you got to live life, right? enjoy yourself. Yes, you know, all about that balance, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I first met Kai at Comic Con. And I just met Gogeta. We did the fusion. Hey, you posted that on your um, Instagram too. Thank you. I got like a couple thousand followers out of that. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. I am glad to be in service, but thank you for doing it with me. No, no. You know, there's always like this little childhood opportunity that I get a chance to live out yeah. sometimes. Did you watch Dragon Ball when you were growing up? No, actually, Dragon Ball is very, very, very new. I mean, technically for me, I, yeah. real talk, I grew up on Voltron. Oh, okay. And I used to watch Voltron. That, there was this, there was a, there was a cartoon that was just like, um, um, damn, was it, uh, was it, was it before Voltron? Yes, it was. It was before Voltron. And this is, uh, uh, G-Force. Yeah. G-Force. Not the latest stuff that they've, re they've released within the last okay, 15 okay. years. 30 years ago, there was a G-Force that came uh -huh. out. You get a chance, check it out. You, you know, in check the 70s. Check out that G-Force, yeah. G-Force. Oh, that was your thing? Oh my god, the illustrations <laughs> back then were amazing. They were they were, they were just above the Hanna-Barbera, any of the stuff that Hanna-Barbera was yeah. at the time with like, um, uh, you know, Birdman and Space Goals. G-Force was like, it was really like the next level and then when Voltron uh -huh. you know came into place you know the five lions uh -huh. and, 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 you know. Voltron was probably like Power Rangers was probably inspired by Voltron but you know Power, now, right? it's still I don't, I don't want to say anything negative about anybody else <laughs> but Power Rangers to me is still it, it you know there was a time when, 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 when Voltron was first introduced and uh -huh. technically you know because it was a huge success I believe before coming over to the United States um, so there have been these, these different Creations of that yeah, yeah, yeah. that were, you know, they really set precedence for the things that would come. Uh -huh. um, you know, with the whole manga style of, of illustration, storytelling through the animated. I mean, it was a, it was a different thing. Yeah. The kind of the kind of um, comic, I'm sorry, cartoon illustration and animation that we got a chance to see here in yeah. the states before you know we got a chance to see Voltron and. Um, um, G Force, the way they, they the way they showed a scene, the dynamics in the, yeah, the exchange yeah. of energy and stuff. You didn't get a chance to see that. Yeah. But once you got a chance to see it, it was like it, the 
the landscape of, of comic book, I mean, of, of, of um, cartoon illustration was forever yeah. changed. Forever changed for the better. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So they kind of revolutionized anime. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. I have to go check that out, Bosha. I haven't watched that in so long. Hey, well, do it, like, do it, do it. Yeah. But you know what? When you do the type that in, you'll actually you start get the to older get the older one, though, right? Genre of like some yeah. really awesome stuff. For me, yeah. the, the kid in me just really, really, really comes alive. Have you been keeping up with Dragon Ball, the new Super and stuff? Did you watch the movie? Well, lately, you know, I've been so consumed with business and this whole yeah. new life that is kind of no, yeah, um, yeah. accepting dynamic, but. Like even a moment like now, you know, there's this, this really experience <laughs> of, of a retreat that's really kind of cool, yeah. and it's probably honestly one of the best things that come along with getting over the hurdle of winning a show. You yeah. know, it's like you know finally getting to that you other side. Of, yes, sir. I didn't even so, know. Sorry, hey, I was no, working no, the booth cool, all dude. weekend. That's cool, bro. Yo, I'm appreciating this conversation <laughs> because it has nothing to do with yeah, that. Yeah, because you're getting you know all weekend. <laughs> so, yeah, then you get me. You don't even <laughs> right, know. Right, right. <laughs> hey, hey, what's what's like, like, and it's like, you know, thank you, but the truth like, is... Like, I honestly good. didn't want to bring it up because I wasn't sure. Like, I knew you answered. I knew you answered, but I didn't want to bring it up just because I didn't know. Like, I was, like, busy working the booth all weekend. Yeah, hey, I totally took I really, really understand, but I... A part of me just really appreciated no, yeah. having this not exchange. Talking about, yeah. It had nothing to do with that, yeah. but it has everything to do with the ability to why we able to celebrate a uh -huh. moment of reprieve on the other side of you know a big accomplishment. Oh no, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, the, you know, so yeah, man, I thank you for this opportunity. Oh, thank you, thank you. And to everybody, just to check yeah, us out. Yeah, Army. Mm -hmm. Saiyan Army. That's what I call it. Saiyan Army. Oh, Saiyan. Saiyan, yeah. The Saiyan Army. What's up, y'all? Yeah. Good boy. Going over 9,000 on the daily. Oh, that's what's Mr. up. Mr. Green. That's what's up. And me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000!